right here, right now. Yep, uh, Envy being a little bit more aggressive on their defense than we usually see here on this point. They're just looking for quick pickoffs. They back up to a little bit more defensive location. And a beautiful shot from Taimu takes out your grapple uh, shots. Of course, a thing from Widow. Hey, what's up guys? It's Liam on your Overwatch back with a new video. Today I'm going to be talking about the grappling hook shot that you can make with Widowmaker. The one you just witnessed was Taimu playing for Envy, which was in a competitive game that this was used. So it can be very helpful. I'm going to explain why and also when it can actually be quite useless, but more importantly, how to do this shot. So if this helps you out, do be sure to drop a like and subscribe and let me know in the comments if I missed anything. So first of all, Widowmaker has the grappling hook. It takes 12 seconds to cool down once you've used it and it can be used to get up to higher places and also to drag you across the map more quickly. Very useful for both them things. But the new grappling hook shot is something that's very niche but also very useful in the right situation. So the way that you do this is the same as a normal grappling hook. You press shift, aim at a direction you want to go in and it will drag you there. But there are specific ways to do this. If you are looking more up in a vertical direction when you do this, you're more likely to succeed. You grappling hook and you start flying up right towards it. Just as you get a few feet before where you would land on the surface, press the space bar. This way you will disconnect your grappling hook and keep flying up in the direction that you are doing it. This can be done on walls, on roofs, on trees, lampposts, pretty much anything in the game. It can be used to get across areas that usually only like Farah or someone would be able to fly over and it's very, very effective. It's quite simple to do but it can be very hard to utilize all the time so you will need to practice different angles and where and when it is useful and when you can't actually do it on a specific surface or a certain lamppost that doesn't work so well. You really need to try and do it at the side of a lamppost so that you'll be able to fly past it and the same when you do it on a roof you need to be aiming more upwards at an angle so that you're not coming in straight towards the roof because if that happens when you disconnect you'll just keep flying but in the wrong direction straight at what you're trying to get over. The reason that this can be useful and very effective is that you can catch someone off guard. You can get a kill at the start of the game even from somewhere that they wouldn't expect. Also it can be used in a clutch situation. But it can't really be used on your own. I think that the enemy team need to be engaged in a gunfight with your team a lot of the time for you to be able to pull it off. Now the negatives to this is that you're very vulnerable up in the air, particularly against another Widowmaker. The aim here really is to try and catch the Widowmaker off guard, but if they're not really preoccupied at the time, it's just an easy shot for them to kill you as it is for you them. You're flying through the sky, falling down, it's hard to get your aim, but on their screen you're kind of floating through quite easily and I think it's easier to shoot someone out of the sky than the person shooting down. I recommend that you try this in a private match. What you can actually do is turn your grappling hook all the way down to 0% so you can just keep using it constantly. You'll see on screen that you can fly around the map and just test it in all different areas. You can test it on every single map that you want to, where it works and where it doesn't. If you're really make a play, this is a very useful tool to be able to pull out in clutch situations and to really catch your enemies off guard. And that's everything I really have to say about it. I hope this video helped and if it did, do be sure to drop a like and subscribe. Thank you for all the support so far it's been amazing have a great day as always take care and peace people